Today we will figure out how much money you need to invest into a dividend stock to buy a 2012 Suzuki within 5 years, purely with dividend income. So let's get right to it. The cost for a used 2012 Suzuki is currently sitting at around $4,200, so that is the value we will be looking for today. For scenario number one, we chose a high yielding dividend stock, Altria Group, ticker MO. The company currently has a very high dividend yield of 7.37%, which is much higher than the average dividend yield in the S&P 500. The company has very low dividend growth of only 3.84% and very low year-over-year -year price growth of only 3.30%. And of course, we are also accounting for inflation, which is currently sitting at about 2.30% yearly. Now, say we have some money laying around, which we want to use to generate us $4,200 to buy our Suzuki. So if we invest $10,000 into Altria right now, we can see that in 5 years, it would generate us about $4,233 in dividends. Now the value generated with our one-time investment would be only slightly higher than the value made in dividends. And that is because Altria has very, very low growth compared to the inflation rate. Now say you don't have $10,000 laying around, but you do have a steady monthly income. So we can invest $1,000 and then invest $200 every single month. And by doing this, we would actually not be able to buy our Suzuki within 5 years. Obviously, investing is long term, so although buying a car with dividends is a great idea, in our opinion it would be much better to not buy a car and wait for another 5 to 10 years for your investment to grow. And after that, thanks to the compounding effect which we can see on the graphs above, our investment would grow to about $36,000 generated in 20 years. But of course, if you still wanted to buy the Suzuki with purely dividend income, you would have to make a one-time investment of $10,000 and then you would be able to generate $4,200 within 5 years. Obviously, investing into one stock isn't the greatest idea due to its volatility. So for scenario number 2, we would invest into the Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF, ticker SCHD. And this ETF has a much lower dividend yield than MO but has great dividend growth of 11.13% and great steady price growth of 11.40%. So essentially, now we will be comparing a high yielding low growth dividend stock to a lower yielding higher growth dividend stock. So if we were to make a one-time investment of $10,000 into SCHD, we would not actually generate $4,200 in dividends within 5 years, but our portfolio value would be sitting at $17,500 and the value generated, the overall value generated would be sitting at $7,500. So we would be able to buy our Suzuki with the overall value generated, but how much would we actually have to invest to be able to buy the Suzuki purely with dividends? So say we were to invest $20,000 a single time and if we did that, we would actually be able to buy our Suzuki purely with dividends within 5 years. Now say we didn't actually mind using the overall value generated instead of using purely dividend income. And in that case we could only invest $5,500 a single time. And this is actually twice less than what we had to invest in Altria to be able to generate $4,200 within the set time period. So if we jump back to SCHD, we can see that investing only $5,500 would actually generate us a value of $4,200 within the 5 years. And here we can clearly see the difference between a high yielding low dividend growth stock and a lower yielding higher growth dividend stock. The higher growth stock, SCHD in this case, generates much less in dividends than Altria, but generates much more in overall value compared to the high yielding stock. We can actually also see the large difference between the compounding effect. SCHD has a much stronger compounding effect than Altria Group, which has a much higher dividend yield. Now let's get back to our question and say that you don't even have $5,500 laying around. In that case, you could invest $2,000 a single time and then have a monthly investment of $210. And in that case, you would be able to generate about $4,200 in overall value generated within 5 years and buy your dream Suzuki. 
And now we can see how much we need to invest to buy a Suzuki within 5 years. Stay tuned as this was only the first part to the series and in the next video I will be covering more expensive cars. So if your dream car is a Lamborghini or a Ferrari, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I hope that the video brought some value and with that let me know down in the comments which car you would like me to cover next.